Hey folks, well, something different today. I'm gonna be messing around in Hero Forge. Um, if you're not familiar with Hero Forge, they're a company that lets you kind of design uh, and customize your own miniatures. Um, I just, uh, I've used these a couple times to uh, make gifts for friends who play a lot of tabletop games or war games and such, uh, role-playing games. Um, but today I'm actually doing one for myself, um, just for fun. I don't think I'm gonna buy this one. Um, my brother and I, years ago, played GURPS Horror, and we did a 1920s um, and 30s kind of scenario where we played a pair of hard-boiled detectives who uh, were also um, fighting vampires and stuff, and I think like in Chicago. Uh, we ended up fighting Dracula, or at least, you know, some facsimile thereof. It's been a long time. So I'm going to make my vampire fighting 1920s hard-boiled noir detective um, so we're going to start here in the races tab. I don't think they need to be a giggle dog, which is like a hyena. You have humans, elves, half elf, dwarves, and they will change size too. And elemental, gnomes, orcs or half orcs, halflings, half demons, so tieflings, um, half dragons, those are fun. Anthro canine. Anthro feline, so humanoid cats. Rat folk, these are fun to make. Uh, minotaurs, turtle people, lizard people, raven folk, fawns, forest guard, elephant folk, um, fairy tale goblins, feral goblins, zombies, skeletons, goblinoids, hobgoblins, oof, robots, bunny people, half giants. Aquatic humanoids, so like merfolks, but like true merfolk as well, with, you know, tails and all. Centaurs, orcs, kobolds, nagas, so you got your snake people, and true serpent folk, so they actually, you know, like snake heads, and frogs. So there's a lot of stuff here, but we're going to start with a standard humanoid base. Way up here with male human. Uh, the, the thing you're seeing there was uh, a previous model I'd done. They normally start kind of blank, but I'm going to start from this base and build from there. Um, so the head, I'm going to make the face. Oh, not a dog face. What kind of face? He was kind of a... My guy was the bigger of the two, which is a reversal for my brother, who's like 6'4", uh, and I'm his little brother. So we'll do that face. The expression. Typically I do a cocky kind of, what's well, up? Hey guys, what's up? What's up? Um, I'm gonna go for more of a, a tough guy look on this one. There we go, I like that. Ears, standard human. I don't need them. Well, maybe I can go with. If it's just one, maybe. But they're match sets. So normal ears, hair. Again, lots of options. Let me take the hat off. It's easier when you start from a, a clean base. But there we go. Go back to the head. Do they have like a brush over. Oh no, that's not uh, clean cut enough for this guy. The military. That might work. A lot of options. A lot of different styles. I'm gonna do blade. Um, I think we might just go for standard military cut. He was clean shaven, but do I want to give him a mustache? Let's give him the old Hagar. There we go. We're changing the character a little bit. I think it's fine to do that. Normal eyes, teeth. You can have you know, monster teeth if you want. Let's give him some regular big old teeth there. He has no additional you know, features. He does not have horns, so I'll take that back normal. And I think that is fine. Body. So let's take off his clothes here. Do do do. Chest. 
Boop. Legs. Boop. Feet. Where are your boots? Boop. <laughs> Nikes. Gear. Let's get rid of his money pouch. Oh, actually, added a dagger. So that's good. Back items. Let's get rid of the bow. <laughs> he looks ridiculous as a naked dude <laughs> with, an, with a falcon. Uh, all right. So hands. Let's get rid of his bird friend and his nudity protector. He's getting more towards normal. We'll deal with the rings in a little bit here. All right, so let's go back to body. Humanoid body, humanoid legs. Measurements, said he was a tall guy. He was kind of a brute. Ah, we're not playing Tekken 2, but we do want to play it a little bit. Wait, yeah, build. Let's kind of hunker him down a little bit. He was beefy. A little paunch. Yes, there is a booty slider. It doesn't really make their butt bigger. It just makes their... Well, there it goes a little bit. All right, maybe it does. I thought in the past, it just looked like it did, um, like their hips. But I guess I would always had some sort of clothes on there. But all right, so the booty slider is up. No wings, no tail, no additional stuff there. Fine. Clothing. Well, let's get him into a regular pose first. Let's get him in the standard. Uh, where is? Ta-da, I think is the standard. It's just standing still. There we go. That's fine. So, clothing. They have some presets, some outfits here, but they're largely um, fantasy oriented. Wizards, pirates, orc armor. Um, but as you look into different things, you've got. I get more pirates, uh, Egyptian stuff, mummies. <sighs> Looks like Gentleman Ghost, which is awesome. T-shirt and jeans, so you get more modern stuff. Uh, cowboys, cowgirls, the three amigos, basketball, military, suit and tie. That might be the way to go. Magician, punk. Oh, we got the mask on and everything. Appropriate for our times. Suit and tie. That's a better... Yeah, I like the long tie over the other one. Um, there we go. See, again, it's a preset, but you can change any piece you want um, but you mix and match. So if you want to have a techno detective, you can make... Oh, well, actually, it's kind of badass. Not my character, but that's a pretty cool look. Night detective... Outlaw detective, gentleman detective, cowboy, sombrero, conical hat, ball cap, fedora, cop cap, mobster's hat, sun hat, derby. I was he a fedora or a derby type? Or flat cap. Ooh, this is kind of fun getting into the different kind of. <laughs> Did you see the uh, text for Trilby? My lady. They know what they're doing. Going skiing. Full jumpy. Well, hey, look! It's Hush. Put a couple guns in his hands, you got Hush. Welding mask. I've made a couple of uh, motorcycle mechanics. Iron Man. Bucket helmet. Oh, that's just... <laughs> that's not actually an accessory. That's so you can just make characters um, as earrings. Bird nest. Gnome. 
Aviator. That's a good one. Biker helmet. All right. We're. <laughs> yes, you can get some uh, zombie action. A little clearer in there. All right. So where are the good ones for this guy? We don't need a beret. That's not his style. Cowboy hat, no. Deerstalker. Got the flat cap. Derby, a little dum dum duggan look there. I don't like the mobster hat. The fedora. I'm leaning towards that one. There we go. That's fine. Shoulders, again, these are mainly shoulder pads, so I don't think he needs Dwarven pauldrons. Ming Dynasty shoulder pads. No. We'll skip that. Chest, I think we're happy with what he has. Um, I like the look. Um, maybe you want to give him some gloves. He wasn't wearing gloves at the time. Legs, he got pants on. Shoes. So he's got, which ones? Dress shoes. No, he would not have tassels. He might just have some boots. Yeah, some tough guy boots. See, it's summer kind's nice because you can't, oh, they do cover up the pants leg. We don't want that. We want those underneath. I think they were too high class, uh, at least in, huh, um, and you can put it just on one leg if you want. Oh, so I guess, I, oh, I could do that with the ears. I could have like one torn up ear. I wish I had cauliflower ears. I would, I would dig on some cauliflower ears. So let's just check out regular boots or shoes. Detective in flip flops. That is not what the guy's going to wear. Nor are the ballet flats. Fancy shoes. Dress shoes are good. Yeah, I guess the preset for the detective is a good build. Alright, so when we were fighting Dracula, I think I had a... 30-30, and my brother had a 30 out 6 or something. Um, but we also had pistols, and we eventually ended up defeating this vampire. Um, my brother was down. I, you know, cracked a baseball bat. You know, I swung a baseball bat at the vampire, and it broke. It just shattered. And the vampire turned like, ah, ha, ha. You can... But then with the broken baseball bat, I stabbed him right in the heart and killed him. So that's how we defeated the vampire. It was a great adventure. GURPS was fun. So, Let's go ahead and give this guy... We have clubs. Where are clubs? Yeah. We don't need studded war clubs. We're just looking for a, oh, a hammer would be nice, though. That's kind of cool. War hammers of various... Shapes and sizes. Baseball bat. Nice. Okay. I like that. Um, side. Hmm. They can put guns on both sides, both sides there. I know it's silly for them to show outside the coat, but again, this is a visual thing. We want to show the gear he has. Um, but, you know, I don't know if I like the look of those versus the revolvers. On his left hand side. We'll keep them both. Back items. This is where we're going to put his rifle. 
Western shotgun, plain rifle, that's probably what we're going to go for. Ooh. I want the boy to have a Thompson. Have a Tommy gun back there. Where do you want to go? And you can slide that down, position-wise. So if I'm... Yeah, I go... Yeah. I'm trying to think of which shoulder I would prefer to pull it off. So I pull it from the back. Oh, right hand. So that's the right side. All sorts of theoretical stuff here. Eyes, we don't need any glasses. What's up, guys? Or eye patches. Monocles. We are not the Monopoly guy. Do they have a cigar? Not necessarily. Why not? Rings. He was not a married character. But he probably would like to... I'm not surprised they don't have brass knuckles. I guess you could like make your own. You want to just go pop, 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 pop. Oh, Let's see what brass knuckles... This is a fake. What we could do. Interesting. Make some brass knuckles. Now on this hand, we can get rid of the diamond ring. Fine for fake brass knuckles, I think. And the base. Whoop. That was a gift for a buddy. So we've got square, regular, wooden, stone, flagstone, bamboo, metal. Not much of a just a sidewalk, but I guess that's the closest. Yeah, we'll take that. It's a city street kind of thing. Items. Uh, I have frequently used um, bottles. I guess. Ooh. A little prohibition here. Uh, they also have uh, smaller bottles for like beer and such. Let's stick with that one for now. And the rim, let's go for standard. Straight down thing. And you can always, if you want to, go with uh, a base uh, that has a mount. So you've got ponies, horses, wargs, motorcycles, or sci-fi motorcycles. So I'm going to just go ahead and click the... That's actually pretty dope. Riding up there with a baseball bat. But my guy was not on the bike. So now that we've got kind of the general uh, look for our detective, whose name I do not recall. This was like a junior high or early high school thing of GURPS. So, relaxed regard. Standing still. What's so, up? No, we're not going to martial arts. That's a potential. There. I like that too. I like that one better, I think. No. Eh. No. No. <laughs> I'm sassy. You can't cross my bridge. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, how about this guy? Come on, you freaking vampires. Crack your skulls. Contraposto. Oh, I like that. It's supposed to be like an archer's pose, but he's got the, the, uh, the sake with his brass knuckles there. That's a good way to hide him, too. Why? You blew it up. <laughs> you bastards. You blew it all up. He 
He's talking smack. With a helping hand, it looks like more like, hey, about to come whoop your ass. That's not bad. That's a good one. That's pretty like, menacing there. I like that. Da -da -da. It does kind of make his gut punch out there, though. Which is fine. He had one. Rally to me. Raw, pumped up. No. No. Eh. What's that? Superhero landing. Hard on the knees. Looks like he's reaching into his pocket to get something. And of course, these are all fully modifiable. I'm just looking for a base pose. That's pretty tight. That's a Wolverine pose if I ever did see. Zombie pose. Drunk or dead pose, but I like winding up. But now here's where you can get into some of the detail of the actual customizing the posing. <laughs> Calm down there, kiddo. You're jumping up and down like a maniac. <laughs> so let's do some advanced posing. Let's start here with the face. Do we want to tilt him any? Angle him down a little bit. gun out of the way. So let's get his gun here. All we can do is twist it. That's the only axis we have is the twist. the bottles individually, which I think is fun of fun. There we go. I think that's uh, pretty reasonable. Yeah, I don't see reason to change him much beyond that. Let's maybe get rid of the cigar because he's going to burn his shirt with that. Oh. Get rid of the cigar. There we go. So this is our 1920s style Vampire hunting, baseball bat wielding, brass knuckles, pistols, rifle, detective. Um, and so, of course, oh, you actually, uh, again, this is not an advertisement for Hero Forge or anything. I just like to play around with it. And again, I, I have done a couple of gifts. Um, but you can actually get these in either kind of a basic plastic a higher quality premium plastic 
um, a steel. Um, apparently bronze is one you can do, but apparently it's not available at the moment due to the coronavirus You're closing down one of the facilities. Um, but you can get these in a couple different ways, uh, whatever kind of quality you're looking for. But you can also just get them as a file that you can download and use for your own 3D printer or take it somewhere, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, and it's much cheaper. You're just paying for you know, the design itself. Um, but when you look at these different settings, you can kind of see different details um, that you wouldn't normally see. So this is kind of the, I guess, comparison. I think it might be a bit off. Um, but that's Hero Forge. Um, I'll probably do some more just goofing around with this another time. Uh, so you might see some more fun characters being made. If you have uh, suggestions for the kind of characters you might want to see, please feel free to drop those in the comments um, or hit me on my Twitter, at um, ATI channel. Uh, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Later.